have you just recently started your dissertation and you want to put some fuel behind your process so that you can finish quickly? Or are you a student who is already writing a dissertation, but you want to avoid the pitfalls that most doctoral students make so that you can finish even quicker? If so, this episode is for you. In this episode from ABD to PhD show, we are going to have our third installment of our Dear Doctor Going series, where we take stories that were sent to us from doctoral students and provide strategies on how to navigate them. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to, if you're at the very beginning of the process, how to put yourself in a position to finish even quicker. Because what we do at Dunn Dissertation, we are all about helping students get to the finish line even faster. And thank you so much for watching this episode. My name is Dr. Ron Goings. I'm founder of Dunn Dissertation. And our goal at Dunn Dissertation is to help doctoral students demystify the dissertation process so that they can write and defend their dissertation in one year or less. If you happen to be a doctoral student who is looking for support, looking for a community, I would invite you to work with us on our Dunn Dissertation Velocity Coaching Program. You can learn more about what we do in our Velocity Coaching Program at www.velocitydissertation.com, or you can scan the QR code that's here on your screen. Just pause the video real quick, scan, you'll have access to the link to learn more about what we do so we can help you get to the finish line. But I want to dive right into today's episode because this is an important topic because I know a number of you all you know, you're just starting your dissertation, trying to figure out what do I do next? And I want to give you all some insight. Uh, and this comes from a email and a note that we got from a student. So I want to share this with you. And then we're going to talk more about the strategy and what I would do um, if I was in the same position and what we do with our clients. So Emily writes to us and says, Dear Dr. Goings, I just finished my coursework in comps. I can see a very dim light at the end of the tunnel and the only thing standing in my way is writing my dissertation. I want to be proactive versus reactive. What can I do to set myself up for success to finish my dissertation quickly? Sincerely, Emily. So Emily, first things I wanted to say is thank you so much for sending this submission, right? Because I think it's important that, and what I would love to see more doctoral students do is, which is why we put out all of this content, is that hopefully you all find out about us and what we do before you need us and, and you've gone a year or two being stuck in your dissertation process. And so it's always great. And I want to commend you for being proactive in this journey because you'd be surprised about how many folks are not proactive and it can really set you up for uh, not the best experience when you're not more proactive in just being reactive. So I want to give you some strategy. I'm going to give folks who are just starting out some strategy on how to navigate this part. And what Emily suggests is that the only thing in our way is writing the dissertation and how do I set myself up quickly? All right. So with that said, the first thing you're going to do, if you're looking to set yourself up quickly to finish, you got to remember this in how we think about the dissertation process is we call it the three P's. It's three P formula. The people plus the process equals the product. And so what I always say is having the right people in place plus understanding the process will equal a great product. Many doctoral students are focused on the end result, the product. But actually, in this situation, when we're thinking about how to set yourself up to finish quickly, the people part of this thing is really important. And so what you're going to do first, Emily, you have to get your chair situated. The chair is such a critical component of this process. That is your number one person. They're going to spend the most time with you. They're going to spend the most time looking at your document. And so if you don't have your chair in place, you're going to be at a disadvantage. And if you're trying to figure out, well, how do I even select a chair? I want to give you some questions and things to consider. First is that who are some professors when you took classes that you actually enjoyed working with? You know, and, and when I think about if I enjoyed working with someone, it might be like, did they give me good feedback? Did they give me timely feedback? You know, those things start to matter because how you're, you know, what happens to you in class sometimes can be reflected in your process. And so this is something I want you to, to recognize. And for instance, do they have structure to their class or are they more free flowing? And if you're a student, again, that you need someone with more structure and you then end up working with a chair who's more free flowing, that may impact you. Right. And so this is something I want you to consider as you're thinking through this process. And this is something I talk about in my book. It's called 14 Secrets to a Done Dissertation a guide to navigating the dissertation process and finishing in record time. And so uh, let me just look at, I'm trying to remember which chapter, sorry, y'all, chapter four. Um, in this book, we talk about how to select a chair. And one thing I want to just share with you from the book, and then um, I'm going to, I'll provide you a link so you can get access to the book, is 
you have to recognize that when you're selecting a chair, you got to choose this person wisely. And in the book, I give this story about a student named Mark and Dr. Superstar, I call them. And Dr. Superstar is someone who is well known in their field and someone who knows how to open doors for students, but just doesn't have the time to be hand holding them through the process. And in this case, Mark decides to work with Dr. Superstar and recognizes that this is actually holding him up from finishing his process. So you got to think about this. Anytime you are considering, you know, taking on a committee member or taking on a dissertation chair in this case, do they have the time to support you? Um, and you can read, you know, this book and read the chapter on this. Again, it's a short, actionable book. You get through it about 80 pages cover to cover. Because, again, I wrote this. I know you. I don't have a lot of time to do a bunch of reading. And so uh, that was something there. So if you want to grab a signed copy um, of the book, you can scan a QR code here. Or you can go to our website at www.thedundestation.com. You'll see where it says book. You can grab a copy from there. But if you want a signed copy, you can just scan a QR code and get access to that. Um, again, I want to provide you with an actual strategy because it's important to think through this because I want you all to finish and finish quickly. So first things first, if you're trying to finish quickly, you have to have a chair in place. So that's going to be Emily. step number one is to get this chair locked and loaded because, again, they are the one that's going to be with you the most and the most often and talk with, through you with this process. And so you got to have them in place. Now, when we think of through that, and if you have any questions, I'm sorry, before I get to the next point, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. And if you are someone watching this and you're finding insight from this, let us know. And if for my folks who are watching on YouTube, you can hit that subscribe button. That'd be really important. And the notification bell, because what we notice is that over 90% of folks who find our video content on YouTube are not subscribed to us. So if you can do that, that'll really help us. Um, currently, we're on a campaign to get to a thousand subscribers. We're more than halfway there and your support will allow us to do that. Um, but we know a lot of folks who find our content are not subscribed. So why not do that? And then if you're following us on like LinkedIn or YouTube, wherever you're watching this, hit the subscribe button, the follow button, whatever it is to so that you can get and keep up with the content that we have going out. Um, that would be really important um, as you think through this. So, you know, first step. As I mentioned, you got to get your chair in place if you're trying to finish this quickly. They're going to and select them wisely because they're going to be the ones to help you, you know, speed up the process. Another piece, Emily, as you think through this, um, is around having a process and making sure you have your writing together. What I see for a lot of students is that when we start thinking about how to finish quickly, the writing's got to be on point. And I know for some folks, it's like there's a shift that happens. It's like I got through coursework quickly, and then all of a sudden I get to the dissertation process, and then the expectations around writing and then all those things start to you know increase and so it could be a struggle to figure out how do I actually go from and elevate my writing and because of that I created a, a complimentary training because I know a lot of students before they work with us are trying to figure out how to get this writing thing together because we know that once we get the writing together we can teach you all the strategies on how to like put fuel under your process that you can finish quickly so if you want access to uh we call it's called our elevate your academic writing training you can get access to that there and I will uh, provide a link for you all as well. Or you can, if you want access to it, you can just text. You can just text hashtag elevate. So make sure you spell and add the hashtag elevate to 301-701-2466. And when you text this number, it goes to actually my phone. So I actually will see it when you text and I can respond or team my team can respond. But what you will get back is a link to go ahead and download the uh, Elevate Your Academic Writing training. So if you want access to that, you can just text hashtag elevate to 301-701-2466. Because what we know is that, you know, if you're trying to put fuel under this thing, the writing's got to be on point. And so I just created a training and it's the process that I went through. Because if you don't know much about my story, I struggled as an academic writer trying to figure it out initially. Um, I had an experience where my uh, professor suggested that either you're going to need to see a writing coach or you got to figure this thing out because this your writing is not where it needs to be. And he put a big X on page two of my document. And I had to do something. And it took me on a two year journey to improve my academic writing, doing a lot more reading of different scholars and like piecing together a system that first that helped me. And then now we get to help hundreds of students through this thing. And now I wanted to put a training out that was complimentary because I know um, even before folks might need coaching, they might need help support with their writing. And in our velocity coaching program, while we help folks and give feedback on their writing, our program is not to teach you how to write specifically. If you find you're struggling with grammar syntax, you know, this is why we ask people when they apply for us to actually submit a writing sample, because we find that you are struggling with the mechanics of writing. 
we actually have other folks that we will refer you to actually do that type of support because we want to put fuel behind the writing and give you the strategy around the writing and then enhance it as you go forward. And that's what we do in this Elevate Your Academic Writing training. So if you want more support there, um, you can go and, again, text hashtag Elevate to 301-701-2466. Because, again, Emily, you got to, first things first, get a chair. Once you get the chair, they're going to help kind of guide you. That's the first part that you need. Second is you're going to have you have to have your writing stuff straight, right? Your writing systems all mapped out. Now you have access to elevate your academic writing. That solves that problem for you. Third is that once you do this, right, and you're going to start working with your chair, it's important to back in from when do you want to finish and back in the process. Because a lot, what a lot of folks do is like, oh, I'm going to write and I'm going to do this and that. And then it comes down to, you know, later down the line and like, oh, I'm trying to graduate by May. And here it is, April, and you're trying to get out by May, not recognizing that at your university, for instance, that in order to defend and graduate in May, you actually had to defend by February 15th, let's just say that's the deadline, or even March 15th. Now you're in April. You didn't recognize that you missed the deadline, but had you have started to map out and plan out that timeline, you would have easily known, oh, okay, I got to finish this. I got to defend by March 15th. My committee needs four weeks to review, so I need to get that to them by February 15th. My chair needs two weeks to review. I need to get that to them by February the 1st. And I still need to do the writing. So maybe, you know, I got to be done with this thing by January the 10th to the 15th so that I have two weeks to do editing. So then you start to map out and realize that in order to graduate in May, you need to be done with your dissertation in January. But if you don't have a process to map all that out, it can be a struggle. And this is why we created what we call your design, your done dissertation workshop, because we found that there were a lot of students who were struggling with putting that uh, outline and those things together. And we know that the first step is having a plan. Second step is to execute the plan, but the first step is to have one. And so if you're in a boat where you feel like you don't have a solid plan, um, you can grab what we call design your done dissertation. And it's a, a, a plan to help you map out. And we teach you step by step in the training. It comes with a workbook as well to kind of help you map out each of the steps of the process so that you recognize that, oh man, in order to finish by May, I need to be done writing by January. And you can map everything out and create what we call our dissertation completion plan. And with this plan and the, and the work that we give you, you can actually use this document with your chair as you know a way to think through the timeline. And then that allows you to open up conversation with them in order to figure out, does your timeline work? This is important because a lot of times we go into this with a, our own timeline, but if we have not communicated that to the chair, you've done yourself a disservice because their timeline might be different. Maybe they need four weeks to review. Maybe they only need seven days, but maybe your committee needs six weeks. Like all these things start to be, be important. And this is why we created this training to help you think through and actually map out this plan so that you can move the process forward. Again, we want to give you all the solutions to solve some of these problems so that you can go on about your merry way. And then if you get to a point where you say, hey, I want somebody to work with me more in depth and like actually dive deep into my context of what I'm going on, then that's where we can support you through our coaching services and programs. But some of these trainings that I'm providing here are low cost things that can get you moving this process forward, Emily. And then from there, I just want to say, if you are starting this process and you want to you know, hypercharge things, what we find for a lot of our folks now are coming to us. Uh, of course, some come to us when they've been stuck a year, two years, three years. But we're getting a lot of folks who are trying to be proactive like you, Emily, and recognize that, hey, in order to finish, I've got to get ahead of this thing. And that's why our coaching program becomes so important, because we can then help guide you through that finish line. And so if you're in that boat and you're a doctoral student, uh, Emily, you know, you want to get ahead or folks who are, you know, other folks, you might be watching this, you know, recognize that we have a system, we have a structure that helps doctoral students get through this process. Uh, we want to see you all win. And we have a system that works regardless of your subject matter. You know, we got you covered. We work with doctoral students who are in all sorts of disciplines from your hard sciences to social sciences. We got folks and just to give you a perspective. I got folks who are one student in stem cell biology to another one in education to communication to uh, civil engineering uh, to governance. We work with all sorts of doctoral students. We've seen seen a little bit of everything at this point um, because we've been busy so long. And so 
If you're looking for that support, you can uh, learn more about our program and apply to work with us at www.velocitydissertation.com, or you can scan the QR code that is here on your screen. So Emily, just to recap, the first step you're going to do if you want to fast charge your dissertation and supercharge it, find a chair and develop a chair and get that person wisely. If you need help, you can grab the book that I recommended, 14 Secrets to a Done Dissertation. Um, you can grab that book. Second is that you got to have a system around your writing, right? So if we want to speed things up, we got to be solid writers so that when we submit things to our chair, we're not having a bunch of like four or five iterations of feedback, maybe it might be one or two. If that's the case, then you can grab our Elevate Your Academic Writing Training. Um, and I'll, again, I'll bring that up so you can grab that. You can grab that here, scan a QR code. Uh, you get access to that free training that will help you, you know, think through this thing and think through the writing process. Again, it's a system that I'm sharing with you because I needed it for myself. And then, you know, I've tested it, implemented it, and it works. And now I want to share with you all. So if you want access to that, you can scan the QR code here. It'll take you right to there. Or if you're someone who likes to do these things via phone, you can text the hashtag elevate, hashtag elevate to 301-701-2466 to get access to that training, Emily, and other folks um, who are watching this episode. Then lastly, if you are trying to, hide, you know, fast charge this process and like move this thing along, you're going then to need, once you get your chair in place, once you have your writing system, you're going to need to have a plan. So in order to have a plan, you got to backwards map from the end and backwards map to where you are currently. And, you know, you can go about doing that yourself. But again, if you are in need that, that support and need a system and a process, again, we created these things because we test them, we know they work. And so why not get the support that you need? So you can grab design your, it's called design your done dissertation. You can scan a QR code here, or you can go to www.designyourdissertation.com. But again, you get access to that um, there as well. Um, because again, we want to give you all the system to create the plan. There's no need to go and do this when you have a process that has already worked and can do it for you. And so here you have a workbook that comes along with the uh, training and it will help you map out and create your plan. And this document is you can present to your chair to help you uh, think through the planning process. And so with that, Emily, I hope this helps solve and answer your question, kind of the three, four steps that you need to do. And then lastly, if you get to a point where you are implementing these strategies and you want to finish even faster, this is where our coaching program ha helps you. In the course of our Velocity coaching program, depending on where you are in your process, you're at the very beginning. Our goal is to help you get to your proposal defense within the next four months. And then depending if you're past proposal defense, after that, we can get you to the end and the, the finish line within four months. So if that's of you know benefit to you, you want to finish quickly, um, what I would suggest you do is go to www.velocitydissertation.com. Again, www.velocitydissertation.com, or you can scan the QR code that is here on your screen. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this episode from ABD to PhD show. If you have found this valuable, please hit the like and subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube. Again, we find that over 90% of folks who are um find our content via YouTube, are not subscribed. So please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And wherever else you're watching, as well as on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, or X, whatever they're calling themselves these days, please make sure that you follow us so that you can know when more content comes out. And then lastly, before we wrap up, make sure that you share this with three other people that you think can provide, this can provide value to. That's the best thing you could do for us at Dunn Dissertation. And again, I want to say thank you all so much. My name is Dr. Mon Goings, host of From ABD PhD Show and founder of Dunn Dissertation. I want to say thank you all so much for tuning into this episode. And until next time, I wish you all very, very well. And I wish you a Dunn Dissertation. Take care and have an amazing day.